All right, hey guys, Fatal Ferret here, back for a bonus episode of, uh, I almost said Divine Slice of Life, a romance, uh, high school ex romance. So, everybody asked for it. And uh, I said I would do it, and so we're going to take a look, and we're going to finally see our lovely, beautiful Miss Rowan. And uh, we're just going to take a quick look at her story. Now, just a little quick backstory. I found out, because obviously I was trying for her at the beginning of the game. We actually missed her, guys, by one, because she's, she's kind of hard to get. We, we missed her by one wrong answer in the whole game. We got everything else right but this. And this right here, this screen is where we messed up. When we stopped to help Selena, it threw everything off. So you know what? You know what we're going to do? Fuck Selena. That's right. We're going to keep running. We're going to keep running right into Miss Rowan's arms. All right. But anyway, guys, in all seriousness, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to skip parts. I'm going to read through parts that are new. So there will be some cuts in this. And uh, But anyway, let's just go ahead and uh, see how it goes. I can't stop. I hope she's okay, but this this is a race. Selena's probably been on the team every year. I never have. I have to prove myself. I'm sure she'll get back up on her feet in just a few seconds. Knowing her, she'll probably still beat me. Do it, do it, do it. I can't believe I actually came in first out of everyone here. I wonder what happened to Selena. Congratulations, Shoji. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. Just scrape my knee a little bit. Well, that that may be my pride. Uh, I'm sorry. I saw you go down, but it's fine. What kind of competitor would you be if you didn't try to win? Anyway, I think we'll both be on the team. I still managed to come in third. How did she even pull that off? Anyway, I'll see you during the track meetings. All right. We we didn't even we don't even know that yet. See you around. The track meet was was enough excitement for me, for me this week. Miss Rowan read the new track members' names over the intercom the next morning. Slee and I both made it. Since then, we've been having meetings pretty regularly. Between that and the gym, I'm pretty worn out. I'm glad it's Friday already. Just one more day of classes, and then I can rest for the re for the couple of days. <clears throat> what was her? I I haven't I haven't been able to do to do Leah for such a long time. Uh, well, her voice was just I think more mature. I think it sounded a bit too much like my Shoji voice though. So I'll try to make it a little bit more high pitched. <clears throat> May I please have your attention for the morning announcements? As many of you are aware, our festival weekend is quickly approaching. Festival weekend? I hadn't heard about this. So actually, we've seen all this, right? I believe we have. So I'm going to go ahead and skip a little bit because I think all I have to do now is um, alternate between helping Hoshi and Selena. So let's go ahead and skip ahead a little bit in the action. All right. So we've helped Selena a couple times. Now we're on our second time helping Hoshi. And so we'll just uh, talk to Hoshi for a quick minute here. Oh, poor Hoshi. Not today, Hoshi. We have another prize in mind. A beautiful prize indeed. Shoji, I'm relieved you came. Setting up this this body language ex exhibit is difficult. Can you give me a hand? Those posters need to be on the screen behind us. And we're going to need a table out in front here for the papers. I also need a little book. I also made little booklets for how to read a guy's body language. Do you like them? You mean you made little guides for people to figure out that I'm actually a boy? What a nice idea. It must have taken you a while. Not really. I just made one. Uh, then the rest were just copies and copying and stapling. They're not very large. Thank you for helping me. It would be a huge project otherwise. I do want everything to look good. Don't worry about it. Besides, you were so prepared, it's not like it's really a rush. That's true. I feel bad for some of the girls who got a slow start. But I guess that's their own fault. You know you don't you don't want to make a you you didn't want to make an exhibit yourself. No, that seemed like a lot of work, and I would rather just help out. I don't need the points anyway. Yeah, bloody bloody blah. <laughs> We've read this. I did I didn't have to get get up as early. So okay, so this this is all new, guys. This is this is what the triggers this is where the triggers have led us. I didn't want to get up as early since uh, as early since the festival is today, and we got a break from classes. But I better get going all the same. I don't want to miss anything. 
From what I saw while setting up the booth, they're going to, there's going to be a lot to see. I couldn't tell what some of the stalls were, but now everything will be set up. Who's that? Uh-oh. Maybe Hoshi or Selene need help? I hope it's not an emergency. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, mm, good morning. <laughs> My Skype's going off and it needs to stop. Good morning, Soji. I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. No, I was up. I've never seen her dressed like this before. She always dresses so formally around school. Okay. Um, let me take and turn my Skype offline. <laughs> I guess it's a special occasion because of the festival. Well, I hope so. I know you like your shirt, but I really but I really didn't expect you to sleep in it. Then why did she ask then why did she ask what ooh, what? Then why did she ask that in the first place? Are you dressed up to go to the festival today too? Yes, I was planning on it. Wonderful. It's good to see you're taking an interest in school activities. Well, it's what everyone else is doing today. The festival was actually what I came to ask you about. I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. I, uh, she wants to go with me? Like a date? No, I'm probably reading too much into this. Unless you already made plans with someone else, of course. Um, no, I didn't make any plans. Actually, but accompanying the principal? Wouldn't that look suspicious? Well, what should I tell her? Hmm, new decisions, guys. Um, well, hell yes, I want to go to the festival with you. Hell freaking yes. Even if, it's, even if it's nothing serious, when would I get another chance like this? I'd be glad to go with you. I was hoping you'd... <laughs> oh, that was, that was my voice. I was hoping you'd say that. Are you ready to go right now? Here we go. Here we go! Hmm, what's this? It's an advert... It's an, it's an evaluation card. You can help me judge the booths. All the criteria you need to know is on the card. Think of it like a Rubik's Cube. Each booth has to meet certain criteria in order to earn a certain amount of points. <clears throat> that helps us narrow down potential winners and determine who worked hard who worked hard enough for points. Uh it sounds a bit like a bit of work, doesn't it? Do you mind helping me helping me do that? I understand if you just want to enjoy your day off. No, I don't mind. I was going to look at all of them anyway. This just sounds like more fun. Especially with good company. Do you think so? <laughs> Hopefully, spending your spare time with me won't hurt your reputation. Won't hurt your reputation too badly. They might start to think you're my teacher's pet. I don't have much of a reputation to hurt. Besides, being a teacher's pet doesn't sound too bad. Oh, well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh snap! I bet you'll keep that in mind. You dirty principal. <laughs> There's so much to see. I'm getting the hang of this card, though it looks like our opinions about the booths don't line up. Still, I can't help but wonder why I'm actually doing this. Why did she ask me? I can't get this stupid question out of my head. Even a few, mi even every few minutes, I feel it on my tongue. Uh, I should just be blunt about it and ask her. Who knew? <clears throat> Who knew beer pong could have such a scientific approach? Though, I'm suspicious about how they conducted their research. Miss Rowan, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. About beer pong? No, not about beer pong. I've just been thinking, why did you ask me out to go to the festival? Oh, no reason in particular, I guess. I just wanted your opinion on some of the work that has been done here at school. This is your first festival with us, after all. I see. Something tells me that wasn't really why. I worked up all that courage to ask her, and it didn't even pay off. There are so many different booths that it takes a while just to walk around and see everything. It's hard to judge some of them, but a few really do stand out. Hoshi's exhibit, Hoshi's exhibit on reading body language was really popular, but not for academic reasons. And Selena was so enthusiastic about her project that it was hard not to give her high marks. But I tried to be objective and not pick favorites. 
enjoying yourself. I wonder if having if having to judge them takes some of the fun out of it for you. No, not at all. It's nice to go. It's nice to get to see everything and learn how the grading is done. <laughs> if you're this, if if you're into, ah, if you're this into it, a job as a principal might be in your future. So, will you be going to the fireworks display as well? Fireworks display? Yes. Did you not hear about it? We always launch some fireworks after the festival. It's something of a tradition. The girls look forward to it each year. I didn't hear about it, but I'd like to go. I'm glad to hear it. I'll be sure to get us some good seats. So now we're watching fireworks together too? It probably won't it probably won't be much longer now. The festival is starting to wind down. It'll be getting dark soon. I'm glad you didn't mind spending almost the whole day with your principal. Come on. Let's head to the room. Room? I thought we were watching fireworks. Oh snap, son! <laughs> Principal's office! At night! <laughs> I can't. I can't. The, conf the conference room attached to my office just happens to overlook the sports field. Shut the door behind you, won't you? We, w we won't need the lights. So, now I'm standing in the dark, in a dark room with my principal. This really doesn't look right. The win the window here makes a great view for the fireworks. They should they should be starting any minute now. It looks like most of the students have gathered. Ah, here we go. She's right. <clears throat> it really is a good view from here. When the fire when the fireworks go off, they light up the whole room. In silence but in the silence between them, it's just me and her standing in the dark together. I wish she knew what I was thinking. She makes me nervous when she's quiet, but I don't know why. It doesn't help that I keep thinking someone's going to walk in on us, and we aren't even doing anything. So, Shoji. Oh no. Hopefully this isn't one of those be careful what you wish for situations. Do you think this is a romantic setting? It's pretty good, it's very- It's- with, with you in that dress, it's- Pretty ver it's very damn nice if I do say so myself. It's it's very nice. I think so too. In all the times I've stood here and watched these fireworks, I don't think I've ever had anyone with me. The fireworks were still beautiful, but there was something missing. Those kinds of moments are supposed to be shared with someone else. It was only this year with you that I realized how valuable something like that really is. Honestly, I wouldn't have wanted to spend the festival any other way, and this is the perfect way to end it. Do it, do it, do it. What are you gonna say, Shoji? Miss Rowan, are you um, are you sure you didn't invite me for any other particular reason? <laughs> I'm usually not. It's usually not polite to press a. <clears throat> it's usually not polite to press a lady on her motivations, but maybe there was a reason underneath it all. Let's just watch the fireworks. Oh, sh Shoji, okay? Alright. I can tell that she doesn't actually want to talk about it. About, well, us. Should I even be thinking that way? I mean, we did kiss, but she apologized and... And she's my principal. Giant red, giant red flag there. Maybe it's better this way, just quietly spending time together. The fireworks are so loud now. They lit up the room almost constantly. This must be the finale. Hmm. Oh. It was so dark, I barely saw her move in. Wait. Moving in for what? Oh. A hug? I don't know if I'm relieved or disappointed. You're right. This is the finale. Which means our time here is getting short. I'm going to miss seeing you every day over break. Really? Try not, try not to get too bored, okay? Wait, where is she going? Miss Ro- It's too late. She's gone. <laughs> oh no, Miss Rowan, come back! <laughs> we need you in our life. <laughs> this keeps happening, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's so quiet now. Part of me wants to, wants to stay here and just- <clears throat> Part of me just wants to stay in here and think back on all of it. But I really should be heading back to my dorm. What if someone catches me in here? Would that be incriminating? 
Crap, I better go. The fireworks really were nice. It's, it's odd to think that we won't be back in school on Monday. It's been a focus of school in maintaining my cover as a girl that I didn't even think about break. Let's see, I believe a Shoji talks about break and we skip a few lines. I really feels like a glitch to me, but whatever. I feel like she didn't, shouldn't just show up. You wouldn't walk around the dorm like that, but whatever. Um, I'm sorry, blah, blah, the lights still on, blah, blah. So this is Hoshi coming by to ask us if we want to uh, spend break with her. And uh, we're going to say no. And because Hoshi is very persistent, uh, we're going to go spend time with Hoshi. And uh, we're going to have a good, long weekend chat with Hoshi. And uh, we're going to go to the temple. We're going to go to the temple. Because that sounds good and boring. Uh, it sounds like a very boring... I know... You know what, guys? Hoshi can't study very well with classical... With, like, pop music on. So, uh, to be considerate... No, pop music. <laughs> I always listen to pop music. While you study? That's, um... That's different. I'm so sorry, Hoji. It's for the greater good. Okay, I can put some on. Oh, she didn't even tell us she can't study with it. Oh. Oh. Anyway. We had fun, Hoshi. All right. So now we're going to uh, have a good ditzy doodle with Selena. And uh, Selena wants to see our wang because she's pretty sure we have one. And uh, we're going to say nothing because sorry, Selena. I'm busy. Let's see. So we're going to skip some, but I don't want to skip too much because I'm nervous about uh, skipping anything. And all right. So we're talking with Selena. And uh, we still kiss Selena in that situation, which is sort of odd. But, uh, but yeah. So we kiss Selena for some weird reason. Uh, why does that have to be so difficult to understand? Where are we here? Uh, but can I... Uh, so let me check my non-cheating chart. Which I totally am not doing. Uh, okay. So, we're just... Okay. Okay. Uh, can I see the textbook? Oh, crap. I didn't even see that drink there. Ah, I spilled it all over her. I'm sorry, Hoshi. Is your shirt ruined? Don't dab it with a knack. I'm like an idiot. Uh, let's skip a little bit more. We're gonna keep going. Oh! Okay. We might have skipped a couple lines there. But... The principal's back. So, uh, I skipped like a couple lines, but, uh, the, basically she knocked and she's here to see us. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> well, I guess it has been a little while. In, in game. Haven't seen me. With Jim and Track, I see you almost every day. Yep, yeah, that's true. But I don't get to, s get to really see you. Not in the way that counts. When... Uh, I For some reason, I find it hard to read in her voice. When do we just sit and have a little private... Uh, have our little private conversations anymore? Besides this very moment? To be honest, I've been thinking about you a lot. And wondering about the right time to approach. It made me wonder if you... <clears throat> if you were ever really thinking about me. I was starting to worry you were losing interest. She thinks we're losing interest! Losing interest, Miss Rowan! We could never lose interest in you. Never. I'm still interested. Just consider just consider me interested and busy. Oh? I I like spending time with you too. I don't know why she's she's com why she's complaining. It doesn't exactly feel right to take time out to talk to her. I really do enjoy her company, and she's been so welcoming to me, but even if we did kiss, it's not like we're dating or anything. Now that I've joined track, I really don't get as much time to socialize as before. Plus, I've been studying hard to prep for entrance exams. That's really the only reason. <clears throat> it wasn't meant to be personal. I'm sorry it seemed that way. Ah, it's really a relief to hear you say that, Shoji. Maybe it had... It maybe had to be bothering me more than it should. And, and if that really is the case, then I hope you won't mind coming to my office. Does this count as being sent to the principal's office? Not sent, just asked. Well, I kind of wish I was being sent. <laughs> oh, no! I don't ask, I don't ask my students to, the, 
students to the office when they're in trouble. I usually announce that over the intercom. That way everyone knows. Isn't that public humiliation a little archaic? I want you to come to my office because we have some school events coming up and I'd like your input. Me? Again? Helping me judge the stalls last time was a huge time saver. A lot of- and a lot of fun. I wasn't completely bored out of my mind, and it ended up as such a, on such a good note. Well, I couldn't get it out of my head for a while. I hope you'll agree. I don't want- I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I don't want you to think I'm using you to get work done or anything. That would be horrible. It's nice to get a fresh outsider's perspective on, on things. Take the upcoming play, for example. A lot of girls will audition, but I- but I think- my foot fell asleep by the way, so I'm like, like banging it on the floor and it's killing me right now. But I think we can get a little biased on who gets the parts. Popular students or ones with good grades are always seen favorably, but we might be overlooking talent and I think you're rather unbiased. Your opinion can be helpful and I genuinely like hearing your ideas. Really, you wouldn't rather hear from a teacher or something? I like my staff, but everyone here is, is subordinate to me. Running a school like this can get can get a little lonely, I suppose. You're surrounded by people all day long, but you can't really connect with them that much. You're just seen as an authority figure and expected to make decisions for everyone. That's part of why I chose I chose to become the gym teacher and coach too. That way, at least at least some of my students would get to know me better. Not just the, as the principal, but with with what's happened between you and I in the past, the kiss and, I mean, I probably shouldn't be giving it more than a thought, but I started to think of our relationship as different. It's, a, it's less professional and a little closer to friends, or at least how I like to see it. I'm glad I'm not the only one who felt that change, though I would have taken a lot for me a lot for me to put up and admit something like that. I've really rambled on, haven't I? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. I stop, I stop by for a simple question and this happens. I promised I'll get back to the point now. So, would you mind coming and helping me? No, I don't mind at all. I'm willing to help in whatever way I can. The office look, looks different than the last time I was here. What's all this all over the wall? <clears throat> are are these for the play? Yep, these are these are the costumes. Apparently, they don't have room in the storage closet, so I kept them in here instead. But I think it might be some of the students are using it for a storage closet. The storage closet for other things. Other things? I won't ask. Oh, you should. Sometimes they keep really interesting things in there. Someone smuggled in a peacock one year. I think they named him Sir Wilfred. That's not where my mind was going. But I know what you were thinking, and I bet someone uses it for that too. Though it seems a little incon inconvenient since we have dorms and everything. There are beds right here on campus. Or maybe the roof? I thought this was- I thought this kind of thing wasn't- <laughs> I thought this kind of thing wasn't condoned. I wouldn't be surprised to learn that someone else was interested in you like that. Has that happened yet? Hmm? I don't really think about it too much. That's my Shoji. Always so academically minded. If only she knew. S speaking of, let's get down to business. I didn't want to keep you too long. Oh, I'm used to people bursting into song when they say that. <clears throat> what, do you, what do you think about these costumes, first of all? We take a lot of pride in our play, so it has to look right. You can go ahead and look through them if you want. Alright, sure. These costumes are a little odd. They look they look expensive, almost professional, but I can't really find a single theme to them. Vampire capes, nurse outfits, an astronaut helmet? That must be one weird play. These all look really nice. <clears throat> there are even some boy outfits mixed up in here. There must be a lot of characters. There are ma male characters in the play, of course. If I'm being honest, though, those weren't the costumes I imagined seeing you in. What? Really? Would you mind maybe trying one on? One of the girl ones, then? Mm-hmm. 
I'd like that, but only if you feel like it. It's not like, it's not as though you have to. I just thought it would be nice. In a way, I've been dressing up for her this whole time. Besides my dignity, what, what different outfit could possibly hurt this point? Well, if you want. That would be lovely. I'll stand over here until, and, and look until you're ready. You can surprise me with which one you pick. The nurse's outfit looks a little small. I don't think I'll fit in it. Maybe... No. Ah, this one. Why am I even treating this decision so seriously? Alright. You can look now. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so what? 